as everybody knows, I'm renovating the carriage house kitchen. These are the pictures of the old kitchen. I had this idea and this dream for what it should look like. These are the plans prepared by Home Depot kitchen uh, designer a few months ago. You'll notice that while the designer didn't miss any details, I did. Incredibly, in the drawings and even standing right there, I missed it. Through the demo and the renovations, my painting, and the cabinet installation. I miss the obvious. So over a period of several months, I talked with architects, some engineers, and some contractors. And Kirk Ralston came up with an idea of sistering the joists that are above the post and extend them to other joists. Thus the load would be taken away from the post. And I thought that was a good idea, so that was the plan. The following pictures and videos are taken in sequential order and more or less document the work that I did and, of course, the pictures and movies I took while I was doing the work for my own record and also, hopefully, for your entertainment. Up uh, among the existing joists, there was very little space to work with, as you can see in this picture. These are tools. All the tools. There's all those fancy hangers. I ordered too many, but it, they were from California, so you always order too much. Here are those special screws and nails for those hangers. There's some carriage bolts. There's some more hangers I have sitting around. There's electric drill. My little paraphernalia container with, that I keep all my stuff in. Sander. Battery packs for a couple old screwdrivers. More tools, sledgehammer. Yeah. Level. There's a power reciprocating saw. There's a bunch of hand tools. There's a couple of old screwdriver driller drivers. There's a new one. There's a new one. There's a, that's that uh, right angle uh, drill driver. There's an impact wrench. There's that Sears hammer I was mentioning. There's all the drills, some more fasteners. I couldn't do this without plenty of coffee. Here's some more battery chargers and batteries. This one's for that little hammer. This one's for the, some of the new tools. Ladder, light. First thing was to build a second post to make sure that uh, the ceiling didn't fall once I removed the old post. The point of this picture is to show the small space between existing joists in which I'm going to install the sister joist. And I cut away as much of the post as I could so I could get to the uh, hangers. See the, how the double joists are seated on that very small area of the post? Unbelievable. The next 20, 30 seconds, maybe even 40 seconds or so, are basically a quality control video just so that I have a record of the existing condition.
and then with all the fancy tools that I had bought, install those heavy duty uh, hangers along using those uh, super duper screws. Once the hangers were in place, of course, the next challenge was installing the sister joists on each side and finding a way to drill through the double joists and the sister joists, which uh, took a long time. Okay, the next piece of excitement is to take out this temporary post now that I've got the hangers all fastened in there. I'm going to take out this post. There should be no movement. It should be rather easy. And there was no excitement. The next place for this post is to help support the joist I connected, just recently connected to as I reinforce the connections in that hanger up over there. I'll have to extend it to get up to the bottom of that post to support it. As challenging as installing the sister joists, now comes the risky part. Of course we have to dismantle as much of the post paraphernalia as possible. Now, this next part is the part where you have to be decisive and mean. This is the exciting part. you wonder what the post was for. I think I'll clean out the kitchen, get rid of the post and some of the tools. Post. Okay, we're going to walk up the steps for the first time since the post has been removed.
and shake it. It's not too bad. I've uh, moved all the tools into my own basement and swept the uh, kitchen. So it looks pretty good. That dripping sound in the background is uh, a brand new pot of coffee. A little celebration. You notice that I uh, reinstalled a smaller post for this staircase to support the uh, stringer at midpoint. 